As the Panthers get set to uh, head to Madison and take on the Badgers on Wednesday, we thought we'd catch up with assistant coach Chad Boudreau and kind of an overview on how Milwaukee's gotten to this point. And you guys uh, obviously couldn't be uh, happier. Coming off of a rough season a year ago, you knew you needed a good start, and this is about as good as it gets. You know, Matt Tybee said that initially out the gate, that we needed to get a good start. And that's he's kind of the he's the motor behind that start. You know, he's a guy that brings us energy and – and we did. We had to jump out early, get some wins, get our confidence back, and the returners get some wins. He, he, winning bestows winning. You just keep going. And, and losing caught us in that, that direction last year. So it's good to get off to a good start, and now everybody's feeling confident and ready to go forward. You mentioned Tybee. I know he's a, a guy you, you were able to, to see as he made his way through the junior college ranks. He, he's from Iowa, comes up here last year. Did you – obviously his personality is obvious, so that I'm sure you expected. But, but the play on the court, I, I'm surprised he was this ready – to be a star right out of the gates after having not played basketball for a whole year. Yeah, he uh, coaches kid. He knows how to play. He brings a lot of energy. It's that energy that we needed, and it's a toughness. And, you know, him and Kyle Kelm and J.J. Panowski and Malcolm Moore up front give us a, a lot of depth. They give us toughness. And Tybee's one led that charge. He did that before he came here, but he's expanded his game. He works really hard. You see him. He's up in the gym all the time working on his jump shot, and other players are doing that too. And that's contagious, and it's just a good element to have. You have a, a point guard in Steve McCorder, who, again, a guy that was around last year, and you were kind of itching for the chance to get him in the lineup. Again, though, um, without seeing him in the game, uh, you probably didn't know exactly how quickly he'd settle in. More than anything, he seems to bring a, a calmness. He's a very good player, but he just – everyone has settled down when he's in charge. Steve's been there before. You know, at St. Cats, they won state championships. He's been in big games. At Indiana State, played for Greg Lansing down there, an excellent coach, and they – they made it to the NCAA tournament. He's been around that big game atmosphere. He's played against high major teams and, and rolling through the Valley for two years has given him a lot of experience. And he has a calmness and, that we need on the court. And that helps it moves Jordan off the ball, which gives him the opportunity to score and puts less pressure on him. And Steve brought a, an element that we really missed and we needed since Kalen was here. And that's a true point guard that can run the team and is an extension of Coach Jeter out on the floor. The other element that uh, you always need if you're going to make a big jump is for guys to get better. And I look at someone like Austin Arians, and he had a very nice freshman year, but he's gone from, oh, nice freshman player to a uh, very, very high-level player who now you say is only 11 games into his sophomore season, and the sky's the limit. Yeah, it is. He's he's a, he's confident right now. He's playing with a lot of confidence with his shot. Defensively, he's gotten a lot better since last year. He's moving his feet. He's sliding. Um, he's become a, a solid defender. Um for him, it was just getting around guys. He gets in the right spots. He's not having to do anything that, that's out of his confidence level or his, his abilities as a player. And he brings a lot. And, and, and you're right, this guy's the limit for him. Finally, Wisconsin tomorrow. Um, the Badgers uh, do the same things every year. They're always very good, especially on their home court. Um, seems like a matchup, though, you guys are comfortable with. I, obviously, they're very good, but uh, the two teams are mirroring each other maybe more now than they have in past years. Yeah, we're both big up front. We rely on those guys, up our fours and fives up front. Um, a guard play out. They, they, I mean, they've taken it to another level this year. Obviously, they're number four in the country. We do do a lot of similar things. They know what we're going to do. We know what they're going to do. I mean, it's a, it, it, two coaches know each other very well. So it's going to be a heck of a game, and, and I'm, I'm glad to get to play it when they're the number four team in the country. That's, that's it's pretty cool for us to be able to walk in the Kohl Center and play the number four team in the country. Coach, uh, good luck uh, both Wednesday and as we move through the season. Thank you very much.